Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Delicious in Dungeon. This is a new anime on Netflix, episode one, Hot Pot slash Tart. Now, uh, the episode, I guess, is kind of broken up into what they end up eating, as the name suggests. Uh, this is a series about some adventurers that have to cook in a dungeon. I'll go into more details in a second. Delicious in Dungeon is based on a Japanese manga written and illustrated by uh, Ryo, Ryoko Kui, uh, distributed by Yen Press in the United States. Uh, and it follows Laos, a tall man slash kind of knightish, knightish character, uh, Mercil, a half-elf magician, and Chilchuk, a halfling locksmith who barely escaped from a red dragon they encountered in their last, last expedition into a local dungeon. But while they get away, thanks to the magic of their companion, Fallon, who is a tall man spellcaster, uh, she falls victim to the dragon. Determined to save their friend, the trio launch a rescue mission back into the dungeon, but with no money, they have to turn to eat the monstrous denizen of the dungeon itself if they hope to return to Fallon. They have to eat it in Delicious in Dungeon. All this aided by their new companion, Senshi, who is a dwarf warrior. Uh, so I was aware of this uh, manga, uh, my buddy Mike from the I Read Comic Books podcast talks about it all the time. I know he's a big fan. Uh, so I was excited that this was being adapted into an anime because it's really just easier sometimes for me to check out the anime and then get into the manga. Uh, I like the premise a lot. I think it's a really fun twist on what people are looking for in a fantasy story. Uh, let's talk about the cast a little bit. So we have Leo, Leos who is voiced by Kentaro Komagi in the Japanese version and Damien Haas in the English version. Uh, Marcio, who is voiced by Sayaka Senbongi in the Japanese version. And Emily Rudd, who played Nami in the live-action One Piece very recently uh, for the English version. Uh, Chilchuk, who is voiced by Suna Tamari in the Japanese version. And Casey Mangillo in the English version. And also Senshi, who is voiced by Hiroshi Naka in the Japanese version. And Song Won Cho. Uh, aka pro z pro z d uh I, I know i've seen him on youtube stuff uh but i don't know how to say his handle but you might recognize the name because uh, i definitely did i was like oh cool i did you know really cool that uh, you know found a way to get some uh some voice work and do some stuff like this uh, <clears throat> so let's talk about the first episode i won't go too deep into spoilers although although this this anime is about fantasy and kind of, you know, dungeon crawling. And, and it really feels like uh, something that should be very action oriented. It's not. It's really more slice of life uh, with a, with little sprinklings of like, oh, yeah, let's uh, let's do some cooking because that's fun. Let's explore the world via the cooking. Uh, I think it's a nice story. Uh, I think the pacing for me was a little off. It felt a little slow. And maybe because I haven't read the manga, I don't know if maybe some of that stuff gets streamlined. Or maybe it's because of the adaptation that it felt like that. Uh, I do like the characters. I think the voices, at least the English voices that I heard, uh, I think they all really fit the characters. And when you need a comedic tone, especially Emily Rudd as uh, Marcel, like she's... Uh, a very interesting character because she's kind of against everything that's going on. She's like, I don't want to eat monsters. I don't want to just like grab whatever we find on the road and eat it. Uh, whereas Lyos is very enthused about like, even though he's the tall man who's got the, the armor and you would think he'd be the most adept to combat, uh, his main contribution in this first episode really is like, he has a little bit of the knowledge of like how to eat these monsters. Uh, I think the inclusion of Senshi later on really aids in moving that story along so this first episode i think it's a good preview of what's to come um i can definitely see this story getting a little bit repetitive uh if it's just about like them trying to find stuff to eat but i don't i wouldn't mind if the first couple of episodes were just like let's explore the world let's talk about like the different types of creatures we might encounter let's talk about the organization of this dungeon let's talk about how society works a little bit and then get into the story so if by the third episode we haven't really moved forward in the story then i'll be more worried 
Uh, I think uh, Trigger Studio does the animation, and I think it worked out very well. Uh, Netflix will be releasing this on a weekly basis. Uh, so I'm looking forward to kind of catching up on that. I believe it is going to be on Thursdays, at least in the U.S. Uh, so I'm going to keep checking it out. I'm at a point where I'm ready for some uh, some new anime, some of the things that I was watching uh, have either wrapped up or, you know, are in the process of wrapping up for the winter. So here we're coming to, I guess, maybe these are the winter anime. I don't know how that works. I don't know how the schedule works. I guess it makes sense that these are the winter seasons. Uh, so, yeah, very excited for that. Uh, I'll be probably coming back to this uh, when the season is done. I feel like this is something that I would rather just talk about the full season. I don't know that I would do reviews week to week, maybe some shorts or something like that if something really cool happens. Uh, so stay tuned in the channel for that. But let me know what you thought about this. Uh, let me know what you thought about the manga if you have read it. And as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone.